There are some misconceptions about airlift pumps that are at least half a century old and uh, if uh, people respond to this video I think we can uh, destroy them completely. So this is my latest little airlift pump demo and this is powered by the aquarium pump again. So I'm just going to zoom in here. Unfortunately it's raining so I don't want to ruin my camera in the rain. Anyway. Here's my little water reservoir. Uh, there's the T-joint there. It's in, oh, it's in behind. And here's the air coming from the little air pump. Goes into the little shed. Anyway, I'm just gonna show the scale of the thing. So, we go. So it's a little aquarium pump and I don't mind the blue pipe, it's not the blue one. It's this white one here. The clear pipe here. That's how high it's pumping. That's less than two feet. And with those little pipes, goes all the way to 13 feet high. Uh, 22 inches of submergence, uh, 13 feet above the water level in this. So we have the bubble pump. We have the T-joint in green and we have 24 inches max submergence. And all we need to go know is how high can we pump. And uh, that's the competition. Thank you. So I have this little pump slowed down as as much as I possibly can. Okay, so here we go. So we got a little dribble over. Now once you get started, it speeds up a little. So this is as slow as I could make it go. So the air bubbles are, let's see, let's zoom in here. And they come up, there's lots of little bubbles and they kind of merge together and the water and the air separates out until we get these nice long plugs and this is how it's going in I'm going to put the so the pump as far as I know it pumps about two liters per minute at full blast and I'm just going to what I have on it is a little uh, thing that's letting some of the air out and I'm just going to put my finger on that and watch the difference in speed so finger on now so instantly it's a change. So um, it's how much faster it's going. So now we're going to we've got to slow down again. And um, go nice and slow. And the next thing I'm going to show you again is liquid hold up. Here we go. So it's important not to have um, not sure. total. It, there has to be the possibility that a bubble can travel up 
in the pipe like some pipes if you have a um, silicone rubber pipe but, um, bubbles might not be able to travel up at all if it's a really skinny one because uh, the um, there we go I'm going to stop it